every young man is going to have to develop a philosophy about life before the age of 25 and I hope a lot before you can always develop it sharpen it and uh, refine it but a ph ph philosophy the way I think about it is a person's opinion on the world and different uh, fa facets of the world and how they believe it currently works or it should work or how or, or just your analysis of it and why it's important for men to have a philosophy on life is because men have to be thinkers so if you if you aren't a thinker then as a man you're going to struggle in this world because it's constantly we are constantly in a position where we have to evaluate things think make a decision and the women in your life are expecting you to do that so you have to have like a premises on how you view the world otherwise it's going to be hard for you to um, convince people of of who you are as a as a man because we're all being judged like we all measure men you know you know how how is he compared to me and you listen to him and how they think and often like I'd be around like my man Rico me and him are very similar in philosophy and we'll judge other guys like you know this dude ain't he ain't he ain't he ain't on his square like that and it don't mean that we we are right but according to our f f f philosophy the way that we view the world and all the parts of it like that person whoever we're talk, t t talking about doesn't measure measure up to what we think now it doesn't matter what we think but what does matter is that we have a position on life and it also in terms of of um of dating you become more interesting if you have a f f philosophy so it's important that men think about how they think about the world and study it like you can't just you can't just have 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 an opinion and not have any research on it or study study it because that's like like dudes are like i don't like lebron james you ask him why They're like i don't know he can't hit free throws or whatever talking about you know you pick one thing out of him or worse worse i don't like him it's corny now if you have a f f f f philosophy on life number one you wouldn't really an 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 analyze lebron james at least as 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 a player as a man you would look, look at him and say you know my opinion of him after studying him is that he's a very me me measured guy like i see his family that's important to him. His race, his his race is important to him, and you can kind of like pick out parts, part parts of people and kind of analyze them. And that would be from my viewpoint on life of how I'm analyzing him. So my f -f -f philosophy is going to allow me to take an angle on on um, LeBron James, which I I wouldn't spend that much 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 time on it. But I would study him in his ways and see if any of it has a value in my life so that's how a philosophy is different than an opinion and especially nowadays with you know so social media media everyone's got an opinion and a lot of them suck so as a man you want to build a philosophy that's based on research studying yourself studying the world and having an educated opinion on it